Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Welcome if you're new. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video. So for today's video, I have some Savvy Land acrylics. They sent me this back in December, which was supposed to be for Christmas, but I didn't get around to filming a video for it. Luckily, this set of acrylics do have colors for Halloween, Christmas, and New Year's. Even though I'm not going to be doing a New Year's set, this would have been perfect for the New Year since I did miss Christmas. So the first thing we get in this set of acrylics are the instructions, the um, tips and tricks and all of that. So many words, it's so detailed. Feel free to pause and read if you would like to. But I'm just going to briefly show it so I can get into the acrylics. So here's how the acrylics come. These jars are really, really small. They are... 0.35 ounces which is equivalent to about 10 grams and I'm just going to show the colors very very quickly because I will end up swatching them so I don't want to take too much time. But before I get into the swatches, I did want to show that I have a package from Enel Couture. I did purchase this myself. This is not a PR package. Um, I wanted to get more of the Extreme Square because I do have the 3XL coffin from, I mean, the 3XL square from AliExpress, but those are really long and I wanted a shorter set. So I did order the Extreme Square. I'm just going to show them briefly. The first time I ordered these, I absolutely loved them. So of course I had to get more. And when using them, you don't have to do a lot of filing at all, which is very convenient. It's super fast and they look perfect when doing the Femi Beauty me method, which I really, really love. And these nails also come pre-edged so you don't have to do much to like prime the nails but you can go in with that extra step just in case you are a little bit cautious and then also guys i've been eyeing these nails i see baby girl nails use these on her channel a lot she promotes e-nail couture like she makes me want to buy everything on there the packaging is just so cute so i've been eyeing these 5xl full cover coffin nail tips for the longest but i was just like let me just go ahead and get it and i went ahead and got it along with these um extreme square and let me just say like i really 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 love these the length is just so so long which i love long nails so i'm going to be using these a lot so this is how the nail look compared to the extreme square i was going to take out the 3xl that i used from aliexpress just to compare it but i was a little bit lazy and this is how looking down the barrel look it has a really really sharp c curve um, and then it also has a really high apex so when using these and doing the Femi Beauty method you will have to use a lot more product just so that it fills up that space between your nail. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get into swatching these acrylics. I'm going to speed this up just a little bit, but I did want to say I have used Savvy Land's acrylic powders in the past. And I know Savvy Land acrylics aren't the best, like they aren't the best quality given the price. But like usually I don't have any problems with them. They are very beginner friendly. But these powders, for some reason, they were just like really chalky and it was hard to work with. Um, I did have to swatch them twice. This is actually like 
the second time I'm swatching these. The second orange acrylic that I swatched, it was really chalky and it was just staining my gloves. The only thing I did was take off the spill proof thingy and push it down in the top and it was just staining everywhere. And then also a lot of the powders with like the actual colors, like the pigment ones, they were really like spiky and I don't know why, it was just taking a really long time for them to get like smooth and buttery. Like you will see it once I pick up the next bead, I believe this yellow here like these almost like it had like a magnetic like pull to them you know how when you take a magnet and like you set it i'll put a picture up because like i don't know like what i'm trying to say but like they were really really spiky it took a long time for these to get buttery like they was just really chalky and it wasn't sitting right with me like for some reason it was just really annoying to use these acrylics but somewhere in the back of my mind i had to keep in mind that these Savalin acrylics aren't the best quality but i really did like the glitters but i did want to say the glitters almost felt like it was just glitter like it felt like i just picked up monomer and dipped it into a little jar of glitter like i didn't really feel any um like clear acrylic as if like it should have been the only one i didn't have a problem with is the clear which is the fourth color in between the black and the green that one was the only one and i think it was just because it had the most mixed with clear acrylic so that one was a lot easier to use than the rest of them picked up a new acrylic brush i've been really wanting to try the kiara sky one so i got an acrylic brush in the size 10 and it is really really pretty i did make sure to go ahead and prep it yesterday because i did i did film a set but i didn't like how they turned out so as you can see here i am using the same colors that i used yesterday and as you can see this purple glitter is like almost gone because those nails are really really long i am going to be using the 5xl full cover coffin from Enel couture so yeah this is just another um up close of the nail showing it a little bit more the apex is really really high i'm not sure if i'm gonna like that apex but i'm pretty sure it's something that i can get used to so here is how the nail looked before filing i did have to go in and just round out those edges because as you can see is like laying on top of my skin and then after i filed it a little bit it does fit a whole lot better around my cuticle area so let's just go ahead and get right into the nail set after i filmed this like the process since this is a really really easy nail design I had imagined this video was only going to be like 15 16 maybe 17 minutes but it's almost 30 minutes I apologize if you guys don't want to sit here that long for a such simple set so as always I'm starting off with my pinky nail and I have my nail on a stand I'm going to be doing the Femi Beauty method for this set um, I wanted to do like something very simple but like extra like kawaii nail so that is what I'm going to be doing today I'm not going to be filling the entire nail. I'm just going to be filling these up to like 80, maybe 90% of the way. I'm going to leave that cuticle area with no product because I'm going to allow the tips to dry first. And I've seen Baby Girl Nails, aka Jamie, well, Jamie, aka Baby Girl Nails, on her channel. Like, I love watching her channel. I learned so much from her. What she does is only apply the product to the tips when using acrylic, of course, because you can go in and cure the poly gel to your nails. Apply the tips and allow them to dry. So once I do this one, I'm going to go in with the next one. But I'm only going to do the tips, allow them to dry. And then once I get ready to apply them to my nails, I'm going to go back in with a wet cuticle bead. And then I'm going to be applying it to my nails. It's just so much easier and a lot less messy because since the tips are already dry, you can hold the nail more comfortable and like without it being super wet like it's just so much more easier doing it this way and yeah that's pretty much what i'm going to be doing but for my next two nails my ring and middle finger i'm gonna be going in with that clear glitter color first and it doesn't matter if these beads are runny because i just want that hint of glitter to show on top so i'm gonna go in with a really really thin layer of the glitter and then i'm gonna go over top of that with the white so once i flip the nail over it's gonna be like a white glitter since the white didn't have any glitter in it that's just what i'm going to be doing and i'm going to be doing this for the ring and middle finger and then for the thumb and index i'm going to do a full coverage of the purple so yeah like i said this is going to be such a simple simple set um it's not really much to explain so i'm just going to go ahead and let this play out 
and i really hope you guys enjoyed the video i'm gonna be adding some kawaii charms close to the end and she probably will never even see this video or like probably never even notice me but i just want to say shout out to femi beauty because this is such a genius hack like i really really love this concept super simple and the nails actually stay on long um if you actually prep your nails like don't use any peel off base or like the peel off methods that you've been seeing me do if you want your nails to last but like this is such a genius method it saves so much time filing shaping and all of that like shout out to her because like she's just so creative i really love her style and overall she's just amazing at what she does like i really love watching her channel she's such an inspiration but yeah back to the video um like i keep saying it's not gonna be much to this set so i'm just gonna go ahead and keep filling in the nails i'm gonna speed it up just a little bit this video is actually gonna have a lot of sped up parts just because i didn't expect this video to be this long so i do want to just kind of like speed through it just a little bit so yeah once i finish filling in this nail this is how the top looks which is exactly what i wanted so I'm just gonna go ahead, go on to the next nail, finish filling in the tips, and then I will come back to apply them, file, and add my bling to them. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe. And also make sure to be active on here and then also on my Instagram when I post because I am gonna be doing a $50 giveaway each month. That is the only way you have a chance to win. To be following me, subscribe to my channel, and just be active, like in my post, comment it, and everything. So I'm just gonna let this part play out and I'll pop back in once I'm done. I went ahead and finished doing my thumb off camera. Now I did allow these to dry for about 10 to 15 minutes just to make sure they were completely dry. And now I'm going back in on my pinky and just filling the cuticle area back in. And I'm putting enough because these nails have a really, really high apex. So like it would be like such a lot of space and they'll just eventually pop off if that space wasn't filled. So I did go in with a little bit more than I usually would when doing this method. My beads were a little bit runny, but when doing this method, I would recommend using like a medium, not too dry, not too wet bead, because if it's too wet, it will just eventually like flood everywhere. So I would recommend going in with a medium bead just so that it's wet enough to like actually dry to your nails so that it adheres. You may have to hold these on to let them dry just a little bit. Like I said, it all depends on how wet your bead is. And you just wanna make sure to hold it in place, wipe around the cuticle area to get that spillage. and then. Also, you want to make sure that you go underneath the nail as well because you don't want this to dry to your skin. So yeah, I do have this clamp here that I got in one of my poly gel kits. I'm pretty sure I have more, but I didn't feel like getting up looking for them. So I'm just gonna clamp this onto the nail, let it sit in place, and then move on to the next nail. Basically, I'm just gonna be repeating the same process. And with each nail, I'm gonna be putting on that clip once I go to the next nail so that it um, dries in place. So yeah, very simple. I really, really enjoyed doing this. It was really fun, super easy. And so yeah, that's just what I'm going to be doing.
now that i have all of the nails on i did go ahead and um finish the thumbnail off camera i let them dry for about 15 to 20 minutes just because i was on my phone like i always get on my phone like in the middle of doing my nails so i let them dry during that time and now i'm just going to take my hand file and my nail drill and just file the nails since these nails are already pre-shaped you don't have to do a lot of filing which is why i really love the femi beauty aka lazy girl method so i'm just going to be filing the sides and also the free edge to sharpen them up just a little bit and then i'm also going to be going around the cuticle area filing around the cuticle area is so important it gives rid of bulk it doesn't make the nails look bulky like a press on nail it gives the nail a natural look and it just gives it like just such a neater look so you never want to skip the step of going around the cuticle area if you don't have an e-file you can just do it with a regular hand file go around the cuticle area so i'm gonna go ahead and finish this up and then i'll pop back in once i'm done with it Now that I'm finished reshaping, going around the cuticle area, this step is really optional, but I like to do it because I like how it looks. And it also helps the top coat to adhere properly because top coat or gels, they don't like to stick to like shiny surfaces. So when applying them, you do want to make sure to buff the surface, but you don't really have to since the product is underneath the nail. So with this method, I don't feel like it's really necessary, but I did go over all of the nails and buff away the shine. And now I'm going to be adding some of my nail charms. So I'm taking out all of my bling boxes. This one I created myself with the charms that I got from AliExpress. And then the second one I'm showing, I believe, I'm not sure where I got this from. No, actually I got this from AliExpress. I'll leave the link down below. And then these charms I also got from AliExpress. I have used these in the past. These hearts and all of these charms are really, really pretty. Before I apply the charms, I do want to go over all of my nails with the not polished glossed top coat. I've been eyeing this top coat for the longest time and since I did have to stock up on more of the monomer, I really like the not polished low order monomer. So I did get, I think it was the 32 ounce um, jar. I did get some monomer and then I also got like two acrylic powders to go along with it. I believe I got a white and second nude or like it's some nude that I see a lot of people using. It's such a pretty nude. Anyway, that's besides the point. I did go ahead and get this top coat because I really, really wanted it. And then I also got the matted top coat as well. I see V Nail did use these all the time and I just been really wanting it. So I did go ahead and get it. I'm just going to go ahead and continue adding this to all of the nails, making sure there's a nice even layer and then I'm going to cure for 30 to 60 seconds in my UV lamp. Thank you. 
To apply all of my charms, I'm going to be using the McCart rhinestone glue and I don't know how this happened but I have like a little hole in the top so when I squeeze it out it doesn't only come out like through the squeeze hole it come out on the side of the bottle and it just becomes really really messy I didn't even notice it until like I think the last time I used it so like it made a big mess over my little cart where I keep my essentials so yeah I do plan on buying more of this but so yeah i'm just going to be using this to apply all of my charms i'm going to be flash curing them once i get them to my liking with my little flashlight and again it's not really much to explain i'm just going to be adding my nail charms flash curing them i do really love this style of long extra long like kawaii extra nails vanity Val does amazing extra kawaii nails like i just love watching her channel so much the one she just recently did like with the pink glitter like the spinning lollipop charm it was just so so pretty and speaking of the little spinny thingies i did order a set of five from shein and it's supposed to be coming very very soon so i can't wait to try spinning nail charms even though i have so many charms here to use i was kind of like i didn't know what to place where and what to use you will see me go in with like the bigger charms on my ring and pinky but i didn't want to use the bigger charms on these smaller nails because it is really hard to like turn my nails when taking pictures or like it's just really hard to move them because the charms are in the way so i didn't end up using the bigger charms um i just kind of went for like smaller as i got down the nail so i didn't really use any of the bigger bigger charms like as you see here i'm trying to use this heart like i was trying so hard to fit that on the nail and then i also tried to fit this teddy bear which was really pretty but i didn't use it just because it was bigger for these two nails So this is how the charms look on the nails but while I'm looking at them I figured something was missing so I'm going to go back in with the biggest size of the clear um, rhinestones and I'm just going to be putting like one or two on the bottom of each of the nails like below the charms just to kind of add something since these nails are really really narrow at the end. I just kind of wanted it to like fade down to like smaller items if that makes sense so i'm just going to go ahead and put them on the nail once i finish adding all of my charms i'm going to put them in the bricker light for a full 30 to 60 second cure After giving all of the rhinestones and charms a good cure, I did take some rubbing alcohol just to wipe the charms down to make them shiny again because since the wax pencil and stuff like it just kind of made it foggy. So I did want to wipe those off to make them shine. 
and now i'm just going to be adding some cuticle oil to my nails and we are actually done because i did go ahead and already add my top coat so i don't need to do that i'm gonna rub this into my nails and guys this is how the nails turned out these turned out so so pretty like i just absolutely love them one thing i would change about like the next design i do i will have a more specific theme because as you can see these charms are like really random and like there's really no theme to them but since i did have purple and white nails like i just went for purple and white charms but these are kawaii nails so i mean they did still turn out really really cute let me know what you guys think in the comments so just a little update i am taking these nails off like right after because these nails are really really long and i do not plan on wearing these look at how this nail took off my pinky nail i didn't mention it but i did add my unt pillow base coat and a layer of base coat and cure for 30 seconds just like i usually would and usually these nails would pop off so my guess and what i think happened is that since the apex in these 5xl nails are like really really high and i did need to add a lot more product even though i did make sure to clean up underneath the nail really really well and then also you want to make sure that you go underneath the nail as well because you don't want this to dry to your skin once i added the clip it kind of just squished everything down and eventually like the extra product just kind of ran down over time like that has to be the only reason and i did have to file these nails off i had no intention filing these nails off but the thumb wouldn't even budge and it's not the nails fault it's just a careless mistake that i'll have to be extra careful for next time and my pinky nail it feels so weird like this is literally the shortest my nail have ever gotten like it literally took almost half my nail off i have a band-aid on it right now hopefully i'll be able to film my next video i plan on using my mccart your nail lab box because as you guys know they do have some acrylics now so i'm super excited to unbox and show and try that in a nail set but yeah that's just an update comment down below what you guys thought of this video and the nail set and as always don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video